can pretend your stakes. One mile. Zero to 70, three year olds. Up the top, Passion Pool for Mark Jones. We've got Toronto Valoy, uh, Lotus Lover, Southern Comfort, Hidden Benefit, Kaminsky Speed, Str Strong Woman, Treasure Damsel, Uriah Heap, Muck Ross Raver, Al Baggy, Alfie Flitz, and Passato for Ryan Costello down the bottom. Racing. Not a bad line. Treasure Damsel is our early leader. From Kaminsky Speed and Southern Comfort is out in the centre of the track. Poking through there, Uriah Heap. Hidden Benefit. Back then we've got Passion Pool and Lotus Lover together. And out the back we've got five of them there. That's Alfie Flitz, Passato, Toronto Valoy, Al Baggy and Strong Woman. Four furlongs left to run. And Treasure Damsel leads. From Kaminsky Speed. And got Hidden Benefit and Southern Comfort. Uriah Heap is up there with them. So too Muckross Raver. Now kicking through in the centre there in the yellow is Alfie Flitz with a strong run. We've got a few making runs now. So come on down to the two furlong pole and the pace is on. And Treasure Damsel just leads from Kaminsky Speed. Uh, up on the outside there, Southern Comfort coming through with Muckross Raver at the furlong pole at Southern Comfort and Kaminsky Speed and Muckross Raver. They're going head and head. Southern Comfort with the neck in front from Muckross Raver. They come on down to the line and Muckross Raver rises to the challenge and wins from Kaminsky Speed who didn't give up. Uh, third was Gray's horse there, Southern Comfort I think it was. And a nice little win there for a Muckross Raver. Shame Shay, congratulations. Second, Kaminsky Speed, Steve Rand, which was a good run. Probably unlucky to miss out. Southern Comfort looked the winner there inside the furlong, but just died on its run for Pontypool Racing was third. Uriah Heap for Martin Leadham was a consistent run throughout. And Toronto Valoy for Vinnie Gerard had to make up some ground from being near the tail of the field.